Okay, so we're gonna recap all the stuff I picked up at my garage sale slash estate sale adventures today. And then I'm gonna kind of show you what I think they're, they're worth. Okay, so the first thing I picked up um, were these adorable little suitcase salt and pepper shakers. They don't have a marking on the bottom, but they do look old or at least vintage, and I got two sets of them, and I paid $5 for both sets. So, how do I know if I did a good job? Okay, so I'm gonna get my phone out, and I'm going to go to my eBay app on here, and then I'm gonna go to the search bar. Okay, and I'm gonna search suitcase salt and pepper. And they popped up right here. You can see that looks like the ones. That kind of looks like the ones. So here we have some that sold for $19.99 and here we had some sell for five or we think they did. So people on eBay can put whatever price they want on stuff. But what we want to do is find out what, it actually, what these things actually sold for. So up here at the top where it says filter, I'm going to click on that. And then I'm gonna scroll down where it says, where is it? Sold items right here. And I'm gonna click that, sold items. So now that we see 169 of them have sold, but I'm not seeing that any of the ones just like mine have actually sold yet. I think it's fair to say that we might actually do a good job selling them if none of them have sold yet. Okay, so I'm gonna go back, take the filter off and let's look again at the ones that actually look like mine. So here, this one, they're charging $5 plus shipping. So even if I did that, even if I sit, put one set of mine up for $5 plus shipping, I would get my full money back because I paid $5 for two of them. So I would at least double my money on that. Usually I start my auctions for small things like that at about $5 anyway. So if it sells, I'm gonna, I know I'll get my money back. So I think I did an okay job. I think I'll at least get my money back and probably make a small profit, but they were too cute to leave behind. So worst case scenario, I add them to my salt and pepper collection. All right, the next garage sale I went to, I believe, um, I picked up this cute little pottery bird and I paid $1 for him. Under his little tail feathers, it says Mexico, and I've been doing enough research to know that this is um, called Tonala Pottery. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Tonala Pottery from Mexico. And it's extremely hot right now. So again, mm -hmm. I get my eBay app out and I put in Tonala Small Bird. That's what I did the search for. And I found one that kind of looks like him. And it's listed for $10 right now. But I'm gonna go back and see if there's one that looks exactly like him. This one looks, woo. this one looks a little closer and that one's selling for $31. I don't know. Let's keep going, let's keep looking. See if we can find somebody that looks a little more like him. Here's one for $15. Now, that's what people are asking for it. So now I'm gonna go again to the top of the page where it says filter. I'm gonna tap the filter and check on sold items. Okay, so we have 13 results of some that have sold and what they have sold for. So here we have a small duck and it sold for $16.99 plus shipping, I believe. Here's a little quail. The quail sold for, this one up here sold for $20. That one underneath it looks exactly the same and that sold for $29. Okay, let's see. I don't find one that looks exactly, exactly like him. So it looks like the range is probably gonna be anywhere from 10 to $20 that people would be willing to pay for this cute little bird. Um, and so I think I will probably start the bidding on him. I paid a dollar for him. So I think I'll probably start the bidding on him for $5 because even if I just make $5 plus shipping, uh, you know, I've turned my $1 into five. So, uh, but he couldn't go for more since I'm doing an auction, people could go crazy and be like, I have to have that bird. And then they'll pay an insane amount of money for it. So also I think I did good on him.
Okay, what's next? What is next? All right, the next sale that I hit, I found this beauty. And I don't know if you can see it. It has nickel coffee on there, but at the top it says Whataburger. And again, I live in Texas and we do love our Whataburger. Um, I don't know if this is like a milk glass, but it's 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 like, like a creamy glass and it's really, really, really pretty. I did pay up for this a little bit because I wasn't sure if I was gonna sell it or use it as a gift for Christmas. I paid $10 for this. So we're gonna look it up, see if I did okay. The lady who was having the sale was using it for charity anyway. So again, even if I pay too much, it'll be okay. Okay, so the first one that shows up on my eBay app with the filter of sold, sold November the 19th, which was today. I don't know what today is. Anyway, maybe yesterday. Um, and it sold for $26.99 plus $12 shipping. So I think I did good. I think I did good. All right, here's another one that sold for $10 plus $8.50 shipping. So then I would have just broke even. Um, here's another one that sold for about $12. Here's another one that sold for $25 plus shipping. So I think I did good, y'all. I think I'll make my money back at least on that and, and, a, and a small bit of profit. And again, if it doesn't sell, this would be a really great gift for my Texas coffee drinking husband. Okay, so yeah, so that was that garage sale. And then I think after that, I went to an estate sale. I'm pretty sure after that, that's where I headed. So I'm gonna show you that stuff next. Okay, so the first estate sale that I went to was a privately listed sale, which means that more than likely it's the family or friends of the family who are running the sale instead of like a estate sale business coming in and running the sale. Um, generally what I found is if you go to the privately listed sales, you're gonna get more bang for your buck because the family just wants it gone and um, they're not trying to get a huge profit off of it. So usually the prices are lower and they will do more deals with you. So I'm always excited to find a privately listed sale. Another thing that I try to do um, really at garage sales or privately listed sales is I don't worry about asking people what the prices are. If they're not marked, I just start making a pile. Because if you ask people for individual prices of individual things, they tend to make the price higher. But if you just make a big pile of stuff, they'll go, hey, all of that for $10, which is exactly what happened to me today. So everything I'm about to show you is from this privately listed sale and I got all of it for $10, which is insane. <laughs> but I said, here's my money, thank you so much. Okay, so uh, I did dig around in the garage and that is another thing, always dig in the garage because there's usually good stuff in the garage. And it's just that maybe they got tired and they didn't get everything put out, but I always pilfer through boxes because you just don't ever know what you're gonna find. So in the garage, I found three or four boxes full of mugs. And a lot of mugs are junk. A lot of mugs are junk, but these happen to not be junk. Okay, so this one says, believe you can succeed and you will. Think big, think victory. And it's signed Mary Kay. So the, this is a Mary Kay pedestal mug and it has the Mary Kay sign on the bottom. And I found not one, not two. This one has a different quote. Shoot for the moon and you'll at least land among the stars. I don't know, Did Mary, is Mary Kay the one who said that? Well, they credited it to her on this. So one, two, expect great things and great things will happen, Mary Kay. Three, this one. Act enthusiastic and you will become enthusiastic. Mary Kay. Okay, so I got four of them, which is a set. Um, and so, the this was part of the $10 bundle, y'all. Kind of blows my mind. Um, so, I looked them up on eBay. I'm looking at the filter. I think I put in Mary Kay 
uh, pedestal mugs because they kind of stand up on a pedestal. Okay, show results. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay, well, none of them have sold recently. Okay, so I'm going to go back. I don't see any that have sold recently, so that's kind of a good sign because maybe there haven't been any listed recently. Okay, so here's one. Of course, it's one that I don't have. It's a pink one. Believe you can succeed and you will. Okay, this sounds like Yoda speak to me. That's what it sounds like. But this one, this pink one, which looks exactly like the ones I just got, look at how much it sold for or is being asked to sell for, $15 plus shipping. Okay, let's keep going. Here's the blue one, I have the blue one. Right now it's listed for $6 with $12 shipping. Okay, hey, guess what? Here we go, here's four, a set of four. They've got this listed at $30. So I probably paid, well, I know I paid less than a dollar a piece for those. So I'm definitely gonna make a profit on those once they sell. Here's the green one for $12, but there's not that many of them listed. So I feel like that's a good sign. So I think I could possibly make my $10 I spent at this sale back on just those mugs, which is nuts. Okay, I also got another Mary Kay mug in here. This one has lips on it and the different colors, the names of the different colors of lipstick that Mary Kay sells. So I'm gonna put in Mary Kay Lips coffee mug. Let's see what comes up with that. Okay, the lips, right now it's selling for $15. Let's see how many have sold recently. So again, I'm scrolling down and clicking on sold items. 16 have sold recently. Holy cow, $20. This recently sold for $20. That's nuts. Like today, is today November the 20th? I think it may be. Today this sold for $20. There's another one that sold for 15. There's another one that sold for 10. This is crazy y'all. Okay, I'm excited. I get excited. Okay, so if nothing else, my Mary Kay mugs will pay for the entire bundle of things that I got. But I still have a huge trash bag full of stuff down here and more mugs. So let's keep looking. Okay. Garfield, yes please, Garfield and Odie, what does it say? It's not a pretty life, but someone has to live it, okay? So these are McDonald's, 1978. So these have been around a little while. So I got that one and this one, so I have a set. I'm not one who rises to the occasion. Oh, here's my daughter calling. Excuse me for a minute while I take this call. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so the Garfield mugs, I have two of them. They are McDonald's. And I looked up comps on these guys. And honestly, the comps are kind of all over the place. Um, 1978 McDonald's Garfield mug. So for sold comps, there's one that sold for a buck which that's a lucky person. They got it for a dollar. But then there's another one that sold for $13. And then there's another one that sold for $2. And then there's another one that sold for $7. So I don't know. It's, I guess it's kind of hit or miss. Here's one all by itself that sold for $12. Here's two that sold for 15 together. So I, there's money to be made, um, but I don't know. I don't know how much, but they are, they're worth something, so, so that's good. Okay, um, the next thing that I found was this mug, and it says the All American Paws, which I loved, and it's a Coca-Cola mug. And it has 1992 on the bottom, so it is consider considered vintage. So I looked this one up and this one is currently listed for $20 and there have been none sold recently. So yeah, no exact matches. It says no exact matches when I, when I say have any of them sold. So, um, but again, there's a couple of them exactly like mine listed for 
$19.99 plus shipping. So, for, you know, a 25 cent mug, I think that's, that's pretty good. Okay, what else do I have in this box of wonder? Okay, so Walt Disney World mug, and then it has a grandma on the side, which I thought was pretty fun. Um, I think this is a vintage one because the most recent characters it has on it are Beauty and the Beast and Little Mermaid, and those movies came out in the 90s. So I'm, I'm thinking that this mug was probably made in the 90s. I'm trying to see if there's one that looks exactly like mine. Oh, here she is. Okay, so this one, it looks exactly like mine. This one right here looks exactly like mine. It's got Beauty and the Beast, and it sold for eight bucks, but $9 shipping. So that's, that's pretty good. Again, for you know, less than a buck mug. I think I'm gonna come out pretty, pretty well on that. Okay, um, then I got another Mary Kay mug, and this one has bees on it. <laughs> so this one may not get listed. This one may be mine to keep. Depends on how much it's selling for. Let's see, Mary Kay bee mug. Here's one that sold for $7. Here's one that sold for $15. There they are. You can see them right there. Here's one that sold for $10. Mm, mm. All right, well, we'll just, we'll see. That one may stay with me. It, may, it might just stay with me. Okay. But again, if I decide to sell it, there's a profit there. Which is good news. Good, good news. All right, now this one was kind of a weird one that I just decided to pick up. It says, Dun Un English Fine Bone China. And on the bottom, it says the Chicago Skyline designed exclusively for Marshall Fields. It was made in England and the go there's nothing wrong with the gold. I don't think it's ever been used because the sticker is still on there, but it's really, really pretty, the Skyline of Chicago. So let's look this puppy up. Again, that was part of the $10 purchase of all of these things. So let's put in Marshall Field Chicago Skyline. Okay, here's one that sold for $9 plus $9 shipping. Here's another one that sold for $4.99 plus shipping. So again, there is money to be had there. Now, neither one of these has the sticker on it, though, so that might be key. Mine has the sticker. <laughs> so, we will post that on there and see. Let me see how many are currently up being sold. Holy moly. Okay, there's two listed right now. Look at how much they're listed for. Why would anybody pay $50 for a mug? Okay, well, I'm not gonna price mine that high, but it could be interesting to see how that turns out. Hmm, very interesting indeed. All right, the last mug I have in the box is Santa. Isn't he cute? He has such a cute face. He's got Japan marked on the bottom. He does have a little wear on the paint on his handle. Chances are, this one will be staying with me, chances are, because I just, I love Christmas. I don't know if I've mentioned that to you before. <laughs> um, I love Christmas and I love Santa mugs. So, um, let me see, vintage Japanese Santa mug. Okay, so here's some that have sold. Don't look exactly like mine, but here's one that sold for $30. Here's one that sold for $10. Here's one that sold for 26. Okay, Santa, you may have to go, buddy. Um, what, okay, let's see, 26. Okay, well, I may have to list him because he looks like he might be worth some money. And again, these are sold. These are ones that have sold. Okay, so this one kind of looks like mine and it sold for 15. All right, well, we'll put him out there and we'll see. Somebody may want him, who knows, who even knows. Okay, so those are all mugs. And then also in their kitchen, I found this Mary Inglebright like apron hook. 
thing. And I love, 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 love Mary Inglebright stuff. So of course I picked this up. It doesn't have any chips. It doesn't have any damage. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So we're gonna look it up and see if anybody else has something like that for sale. All right, Mary Inglebright hook is what I put in. Recent solds, $20 plus $15 shipping. This one sold for $15 with $12 shipping. Um, okay, so again, I think I did good. I think I did good. Now, all of those mugs and the hook were part of the $10 bundle, and I've already made, potentially made that $10 plus a ton back. So I'm pretty excited about that. But wait, there's more. All right, so what else did I get for my $10 bundle? Well, I got four of these um, milk glass. Pyrex Milk Glass Blue Onion Design Coffee Mugs. I looked up the comps on these and a set of four of them sold recently for $20. See right there, those look exactly like the ones I have. So again, money to be made there with these beautiful Pyrex. I just love those so, so much. Um, let's see, what else did I get? I got two boxes of never used Christmas lights, will, which will be used probably for my own Christmas trees, but these are what, $4 a piece at Walmart? Um, yeah, I also got a few more things for myself. Um, a Worthington lace shirt, which is very boho looking. I love that. This is a brand was this? This is a Chaps brand blouse with some florals. I loved this blue. And the blue was, is a Worthington. But look at those fun sleeves. Cha-cha-cha. Those look very fun. And then I got a Craft and Barrow white denim jacket. And uh, again, part of the $10 bundle. I also got a wooden lazy susan for my table i have always wanted one of these and it's it's not in bad shape but i thought i might even paint it with some chalk paint and make it really shabby chic something like that so i'm not gonna look up the comps on this because i'm keeping this one i'm gonna keep that one okay some other fun things that i got for my ten dollars were these little plushy um coca-cola like beanie baby things they all still have their tags on them I wasn't able to see a date. Well, that's false. 1997. So they are vintage. And this one is a little, little seal. Look how cute he is. He has a little Coke bottle. So I got the seal. And I guess this is a seal also. Yes. But this one has a Santa hat on. He's new with tags. Vintage. Um, the penguin. New with tags. And of course the bear himself. Look at his little bow tie. Oh my goodness. Super, super cute. So, uh, I looked up comps on these guys and I don't know. Again, they're kind of all over the place. And I think the lowest I'm seeing is $5 a piece up to about 15. Um, so I may list them individually. I may list them as a lot together. I'm not really sure, but I do know that I need to list them soon because Christmas is coming. And these would be perfect for Christmas because they are little Christmas beanie babies. So, but they're the Coca-Cola brand. Um, but I just thought they were super cute. And again, they came in my huge lot that I only paid $10 for. Unbelievable. Okay, so this one I absolutely couldn't pass up because my favorite colors are red and yellow. Look at that. Is that not precious? It is made in Japan. If you open up the lid, it has its electric cord because it's an electric teapot. It also has the, the package that goes with it. So this has never been used. And I think it's just the cutest thing. So let's look her up. So I looked up Japanese electric teapot and just the cord, just the cord by itself, 
sold for $14.99. Boom. Okay, so here's here's one that sold for $22. This little guy right here. Can I make it bigger? Let me see. I'm gonna click on it. That's not nearly as cute as mine. Agree? And here's one. This one has have pineapples on it, but this one sold for $20. Not as cute as mine. There's one with roses. There's one with blue roses. I don't see any that are as cute as mine, y'all. So I'm thinking, because this has such like a retro, mid-century sort of feel to it, I'm thinking I could easily make 20 bucks. 20 bucks on that, easily. But the cord itself is selling for 15. That's insane. I'm so excited. Okay, now last, but certainly not least. Oh, no, 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 that's not last. This is second to last. I got this. Okay, just dip, slip into place, and sponge smooth. This is made by DuPont, and they are called Flare Squares. The easy way to decorate pre-pasted wall covering. So they're like little square pieces of wallpaper, and the graphics on the back are pretty fun. Um, so the original price for this looks like it was six, six forty nine. Again, it was part of my ten dollar bundle, and I looked this up, and <laughs> y'all ain't gonna believe this. Y'all are not gonna believe this. Dupont Flare Squares just sold a month ago. Hold up, hold up, and this isn't even as cute as mine. Like for real. <laughs> Well, they're succulents, so maybe. Okay, so that's the pattern that just sold about a month ago, and it sold for Okay, another one sold for 49. Again, this one is not nearly as cute as mine. For $9.95 plus $14 shipping. Okay. I'm kind of freaking out right now. Plus mine is so pretty. Look at those pretty colors. I can't wait. I cannot wait to see what happens with that. Oh my goodness. Okay, last but not least, with my $10 bundle, I found these hiking boots out in the garage. Columbia, which is an awesome, awesome brand. These retail for a lot of money and they barely look like they've been worn at all. They are size eight and currently right now they're selling for about $40 online. So I think all in all, I did a really good job with that $10 bill. That's not all I got. So I'm gonna move on to the stuff I got from the next garage sale and one more um, estate sale. Okay, so I went to another garage sale after this, the estate sale where I got the $10 bundle. Ha! Ah, and overpaid at the garage sale after getting all that stuff for $10. But it's all right. Um, I got these awesome Christmas ornament stars. They retailed for $8 a piece. I got five of them. And then I got... One, two, three, four, five, six of these little guys. These look like they're from World Market or something. Um, how much did these retail for? These were six dollars a piece from wherever they came from. So I got six of these, five of the other big stars, a little red basket they just threw in. These two little ornaments from Department. 56 say fa la la got two of those and I, I have always wanted to try these detox foot pads does anybody out there use some of these have they worked charcoal infused all natural removes toxins helps boost energy so i'm gonna try it I'm gonna try it and see if those work. But I got all of that stuff for around $20, which again, was kind of like, how much do you want? <laughs> After I got all that other stuff for $10, but not every place is gonna have huge bargains, so that's okay. Oh my goodness, I forgot. This was part of the $10 bundle. This cute little Christmas tree pin. 
Yay! This this may be staying with me because remember, I love all things Christmas. So some of it I have to keep. Okay, the next estate sale that I hit um, had everything marked 50% off today because it's their last day of their sale. And I have a thing for these old Samsonite suitcases. I probably have 12 or more of them in my house, but I decorate with them. So several of these are my nightstand. Um, I use them for end tables. I use them to store my Christmas ornaments. That's actually what I use them for. So I found this one and it was only $7 today because it was marked down. And anytime I can find them in good shape, less than, well, less than $20, I'll just go ahead and pick them up. Um, and so I packed all my treasures that I found at this estate sale inside the suitcase. So I'm gonna open it up and we're gonna look inside and see what I came home with. Okay, so I got this Christmas tree skirt. Isn't she cute? At first I thought it was handmade because it really does look handmade, but then I saw a tag on it, but still it's very, very cute. And I only paid $4 for it. And this may be used at my house. I'm not sure, or I may sell it. I, I don't know. I'm not sure about that yet. So that was $4. I found this really, really cute owl. Cause y'all know he's tiny though. See how tiny he is? Um, paid a dollar for him today. He has no chips or cracks or anything. He's still got his original sticker. So I thought he was a pretty good deal. And then right next to him was this little buddy and I didn't want to leave him behind. Um, this one came from Colorado. It has Colorado marked on the bottom, but I just thought he was cute and I felt like the owls needed to stick together. So um, I did that. These are the cutest things. Look, look how tiny they are. Look how little, they're so cute. And I paid half a two, so I paid a dollar for these. And if nothing else, they can be made into Christmas ornaments. Oh, and then also in the miniature area, I found this miniature rolling pin, which I couldn't live without for 50 cents. So I got that as well. Okay, I found some more little plushy guys. And I usually don't go for the plushies, but these have their tags on them. So I thought that's probably gonna be worth something. So I paid two bucks for him and two bucks for him. And they are the little RCA, um, what's it, what they call him? He has a name, Nipper. Nipper, little, little guys. And so let's look him up, RCA Puppy Dogs. Let's go to our, the, the app and see what we can find. Nipper RCA Dog Plush. So this top one looks like the one I have and it sold for $16. Here's a six inch that sold for five. So there's a few, there's a few out there. Um, and those are just the ones that have sold recently. So there's, there's some money to be made. I can make more than the $2 that I spent on them, I do believe. So those two guys, let's see, what else did I get? I got this little piece of pottery because it has polka dots on it. It has polka dots on it, and I love that. And I paid a buck fifty for this, and it's signed by an artist. I just thought that that was really, really neat. Had never seen one quite like that with dots on it. I got a couple more Christmas brooches for a dollar fifty. This one has pearls and gemstones on it. So maybe I'll keep that one because I do love the pearls. This one is an owl. Let me take him out of his little baggie because he looks really, really cool. Look at him, look at those eyes. And he is kind of bronzy. I don't know, you can't really tell, but I paid $2 for him. And then one more, this was $1.50. I'll go ahead and take it out so you can see it. This one's a Christmas. Okay, never mind, it's too hard. Uh, this is a Christmas stocking with little jewels and presents and stuff. I thought that was pretty cute. All right, what do we have in here? Oh my goodness, this was the first thing I picked up at this sale. Ah, Y'all, he's a cowboy owl on skis. I, 
I don't even know what to say, except I knew I had to bring him home with me. He's so stinking cute. He doesn't have any markings at all. I have no idea who he is or where he came from, but he had to come home with me and I paid $3 for him. So I love teapots. If you've been watching this channel for any length of time, I think you probably would have figured that out. I love teapots and I love cardinals. Okay, go back in there. Are you gonna go back in there, lid? Come on, lid. Oh, that may be the wrong lid. That may be the lid to the sugar bowl. Might be this one's lid. There's the other lid. Well, it's in here somewhere. But anyway, it is a whole set. There's a creamer, there's a teapot. There are lids for both of those. There are two saucers with cups. And there's a sugar bowl in here somewhere. Oh, that's the other mug. Oh, yikes. There's this. There. No. Come on now. Come on now. Go on there. Anyway, it'll go on there. Uh, where's the sugar ball? Oh, <laughs> so fat and chubby. Look how cute. Okay, so I paid $10 for the whole set. I might be keeping this one. I'm not gonna lie. I might be keeping it because it's Cardinals and it's Christmas and it's a teapot. So there is, it's highly probable that I will keep it. Okay. And then I found this boy and he was marked originally for eight. I did not pay eight for him. I paid four for him. <sighs> Look at his face. But the cool thing is that he is also that Mexican pottery, just like the bird we saw earlier. And remember the birds were selling for pretty good. Um, so I figure the owl will sell for even better. I haven't looked him up yet. Maybe I need to look him up and see. Also, I kind of want to know a little bit more about this guy. Okay, so I stopped for a second to check out that Tanola uh, Mexican pottery owl. This guy right here, looked him up. Ooh, looked him up on eBay and Folks like him, similar to him, are selling for pretty pretty good money. Pretty good money over $4. So I think I made a good investment getting him. And then I looked up this little guy. Couldn't find anything for him on eBay. So I tried Google Photos. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, you download the Google Photos app and then it'll take you to the pictures you've recently taken and so I'll click on his little picture right there <laughs> cute and then you push this little this little button right here and it'll do like a little sparkly thing like pixie dust and it'll highlight the picture I'm gonna stretch that so it highlights all of him and it's looking on the web to see if it can find another owl that looks like him and I've yet to find one that looks like him my little cowboy skiing owl. So maybe he's rare, <laughs> maybe he's special. I don't know, but when I list him, I may start the bidding kind of high because I haven't been able to find anybody quite like him. So I think we're gonna do that. Okay, and then I got two more items. I think I paid around $40 for everything that I have just unpacked out of the suitcase. Um, this, <laughs> It's, um, it's for my daughter. She loves mushrooms. <laughs> just just take it in. I don't really have much to say. Um, except it was too good. I had to pick this up. So this will probably be in her Christmas stocking. And then I found um, a pack of playing cards. And these are very unusual. They have this on the back. Sony tape full color sound on the back of the cards, which I thought was really interesting. I sell earrings that I make on um, Etsy and a lot of times the card that the earrings will come on, I like to use playing cards. And so I thought that that would be a really unusual card to put some of my earrings on. So all of that, like I said, was around $40 for my tea set, the pottery owls, the pins, the suitcase, the Sony dogs, the tree skirt. So I think I got a pr I got pit pretty good bang for my buck at that sale. On my way home, I hit two more garage sales. One was a church garage sale. 
which those always get me really excited because you know you got stuff coming from multiple households, unfortunately. I don't know if it was too late in the morning. I didn't find a whole lot there. I did buy a couple of items that I wanna show you. I got a blouse for myself for a dollar. Um, and then I got this purse, the black and white stripes. It's like a crochet kind of boho purse. It's very clean, doesn't look like it's been used hardly at all. And the brand is The Sack. And these actually sell for quite a bit online. So um, I think I picked this up for $2. And I think the return on that will be good. Okay, so I just looked up the sack bag. Um, just a few that I've seen pulling them up. Pretty good. Um, let me look at the filter though to see what they're actually selling for. This one at the bottom kind of looks like mine. So it's got those leather straps, so it's sold for about $23. So I'll definitely make more than two, two bucks on it. Um, and then I found for a dollar this Texas Rangers hat. It has the Coca-Cola symbol on the back. I'm not really sure what this is for, but I'm gonna look that up. Let's go really quick to eBay and I'm gonna put in Texas Rangers cap. Coca-Cola, we'll see what it brings up. Okay, well here's one that looks like mine. Doesn't that look like mine? Looks like mine. They're asking $12 for that. Um, does it have a, oh, look, it's exactly like mine, y'all. Okay, so they're asking $12 plus $5 shipping on that. Let's go to the filter to see if any like that have sold. One result. Uh, that's that doesn't look like it. Okay, so somebody out there thinks that this is worth twelve dollars. So I might I might list it for ten and just see what happens. But again, I paid a buck for it, so I, I will make a profit. And it's re in really good shape. Like it doesn't even feel like it's been worn at all. So that was my haul from the church garage sale. And then I had another one in my neighborhood on the way home, and got a couple of items. I think actually all of these items are for me and will not be for sale. This is a vintage, original weatherproof vintage since 1948 rain jacket, which I love having a rain jacket. So this one I will probably keep. I think I paid a couple bucks for that. I got a really pretty blouse. Most of my clothes in my wardrobe have been thrifted because I'm a school teacher and I don't want to worry about spending $50, $60 on a blouse and then spilling paint on it or something. So this is an Ann Taylor blouse. It's got a cute little tie at the top of it. I really like that. I think I paid a couple of bucks for that as well. My husband has one of these cool nifty little backpacky things. I'm probably holding it upside down. So, um... I didn't pay six dollars for it she gave me a deal um but it has a place to put your stuff but then also it has a little pouch with um a water bladder i guess for lack of a better thing to call it um so when we go out riding bikes or go hiking he already has one but now i also have one and i'm very excited about that i have my own water so i don't have to carry water bottles around with me so that's really good. So I got those things from that last garage sale, but then this was my most exciting pick of the day because I've been contemplating um, investing in a GoPro camera for my outings, for my winter hunting adventures, so I don't have to worry about holding my camera everywhere I go. And so this young lady had not one, but two little GoPro Hero 3 cameras with all of the accessories. We've got the battery packs, we've got the waterproof dealies, we've got the cords that go with it. We've got, I have no idea what that is. This is the battery, battery I don't know, the battery pack of some kind. Um, I do have to get the cards that go in it, but she sold me both 
for $30. So I'm excited to try these. Uh, but it's kind of funny because I've been thinking, maybe I should try to get a GoPro, but they're pretty expensive. And then I just happened upon a garage sale that was selling not one, but two of them. Um, so I kind of felt like that was extremely providential today. So I hope that you've enjoyed seeing what I actually purchased and what it's worth. I usually don't check the eBay comp app while I'm at a garage sale because that just kind of seemed a little weird to be like, let me see how much your stuff is actually worth here right in front of you. Um, so at garage sales, I generally just like take a take an educated guess or just take a risk and bring it home and say, well, maybe it's worth something. If not, you know, we can use it or we can re-gift it or we can re-donate it um, to a charitable organization. Sometimes at estate sales, you have a little bit more privacy. You have a little bit more time that you can look things up. And so occasionally I, I will kind of search for comps while I'm shopping. But today I just kind of went with my gut and I grabbed things that I thought might be worth something. And I think I did really well. So again, this is all, you know, estimated what I could possibly make on it, but I won't make a penny on it until I get it listed. So that's what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna sit down and take pictures and start listing all of this stuff on eBay. So if you're seeing anything that you're interested in or that you can't live without, um, go find me on eBay, Busy B M K T, and come check out the stuff I've got listed. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.